anybody drink over here? Where is Tom? There's it's no too bad. It really is. Can somebody horse whip him for me, please? For the love of all that is holy. Bonjour. Morning. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. I fought with the cook again today. What does a dried up old hag have to do to get drunk around no, here? Sir? Please. Uh, what, what can I do for you? You're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good. Give me anything yourself. you like. Your whiskey. This town is so bloody boring. Boring. All of you, you're all boring. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. The place used to be sophisticated. Stories I heard would make a devil blush. Yes, indeed. Not anymore. The devil's gone elsewhere. And we're left with the choir masters. And not the fun kind. No, sir. You know something? <laughs> no, you know nothing. Bunch of ignorami. That's plural for ignoramus. Latin like honeylingus. Also Latin. <laughs> I have an education. Daddy hired a wonderful tutor. Poor fellow. Fell in love with my mother. Hanged himself. They say hanged, not hung, when it's people. And now he's come here to take over. Down here, you say. Blanched. <laughs> but you always did mangle the language. Well, God, the I am so bored. My God, I am so bloody bored. Do you know I burnt my new novel? <laughs> Finished it and burnt it. The novel is dead. Such tripe. I hated my characters. And after I tortured them for 30 pages, even I was losing the will to live. Tom? Tom? Where's Tom? I remember when men set the with their pistols by the I'm horrified! Now, You're sticking up with another house girl. Silly old fool. Oh. <laughs> Did any of you morons read that last drivel written by Evelyn Miller? My God, but... There's a small-minded simpleton. I met him once. Jimmy, did you hear that? I met Evelyn Miller. They used to say at Yale that he has a tiny penis. Oh, don't be shocked. But I can't say for sure he wouldn't show me, but my God, what a bore. Who's any man, any man that prefers trees to tits? <laughs> he gets what he deserves, and that's a fact. You know, young Marie has quite a bump under her wedding dress. <sighs> I mean, Evelyn Miller. God, he's even got a woman's name, poor bugger. What is it about second sons born into privilege? <laughs> Ooh, I'm bored of being a professor. I want to stare at trees. You're a moron, my friend. <sighs> Yale is well shot of him. And what about that other fellow, the Harold McDougal, the, the, the anthropologist? My cousin says he's an even bigger moron and a drug addict. Oh, are any of you drug addicts? Oh, I wish I knew more. I can't get enough of this stuff. <laughs> Some of these people nowadays, they don't, they don't know how to behave. Bonjour. One man tried to shoot a bottle right from my hand. Hello? Je vous salue. Bonjour. Well, that's that, I suppose. 
you some food, Mr. Miller. What's that smell? Mr. Miller! <sighs> Crazy b When I'm done, just burn me. I want to soar in the air with the eagles, not rot in the ground with the worms. <laughs> <laughs>